photos that prove your mom is a lie. Or, or, or photos that prove uh, your life is a lie. Not your mom. Okay, maybe your mom's a lie too. This guy's real name is Fat Ho. I bet he wishes it was a lie. Woo! But before we dive in, I know what you guys are thinking. Can a brother get a free iPhone X? Yes! Yes, you can! It's a giveaway! That's right, girl. We got another one. As you guys know, I've partnered with Firework and I'm creating exclusive content. If you haven't seen it already, check out my series, The Dang Show, captured in Firework's new camera feature called Reveal. I'm gonna tell you guys in a second all the steps to enter into the giveaway, but if you wanna get a jump on it, click that first link in the description below, download Firework, and add me on there at Dang Matt Smith. But first, congratulations to the 20 winners who found the hidden emojis in the last giveaway. And even though that contest is over, make sure to watch and try to find the hidden emojis if you haven't already. But now, my new series is taking reaction videos to the next level. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if I was in the movie It or if I was in the movie Us? Well, this time around, I've been digitally placed in classic movies and commercials. You have to see it to believe it. But we're gonna make it a game. I challenge you guys to count how many times you see me in episode one through eight of this new series and DM me the amount. I'm gonna be posting a new video daily, so make sure to come back to participate. And of course, there's gonna be a prize. One winner will get a follow from me on Instagram, and one winner will receive a brand new iPhone X! Firework is gonna announce the winners on June 12th, so be on the lookout for a DM from at Contest Champs. And the step-by-step -step guide on how to enter in the description below. And the contest will be going on for a week long starting today, so get there. But now, let's go ahead and check out some of these photos that prove your life is a lie. It's part three. Be sure to click that subscribe button, drop a like, and comment down below your Instagram. Mine's at DangMattSmith. Be sure to add me on there and DM me. Woo, here we go, number one. Okay, when you discover what Bay actually means. I mean, isn't Bay like before anyone else? That's your girl, or that's your boy, or that's me. Yeah. It says Bay is a Danish word for, for poop. Hey! This time I've been calling girls bae, I've been calling them poop. Hopefully none of these girls speak Danish. Also used by people on the internet who think it means baby, sweetie, etc. I thought it meant etc. What? Oh my gosh. And that gives examples. Bae, I love you so much. So basically they're saying poop, I love you so much. Oh, ew, disgusting, dishonor upon your whole family. Brian, my bae. Brian, my poop. Oh, oh, what an insult. I just made a bae. Uh, uh, you just made a poop. Keep that to yourself. I do not need to know that. Jeez, guys, we can't use the word Bay anymore, man. Now, you guys remember the vines and those videos back in the day where they used to say, do you got a bay or nah? So they were saying, do you got a poop or nah? Eh, gross. Whew, gosh dang, man, I'm pooped. Or uh, I'm tired. Or, uh, I'm, this whole thing's got me messed up. I will never use the word bay ever again. Oh man, that Taco Bell isn't sitting quite right with my stomach. I gotta go take a bay. Okay, moving on. Winnie the Pooh is not a boy? <gasps> Are you serious? Guys, my whole life is a lie. Are you, why? I thought Winnie the Pooh was a dude. And what is going on with all this poo? Winnie the Pooh, Bay means poo, everything is poo. Are you poo? So much poo. I'm gonna stop saying poo, okay. Mm -mm, your name is not Winnie the Pooh. Your name is Winnie the Bay. Winnie the Pooh is not a boy. She is a girl? How? I mean, not how, but like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry guys, please forgive me. I did not mean to assume that Winnie the Pooh was a boy, but that's what I was told when I was little. I didn't know any better. Please forgive me, Winnie the Pooh. I had no idea. She is a girl and she's from Canada. What, not England? Really? Oh. I mean, I guess there's bears in Canada. That probably makes more sense than like bears in England. In a new picture book called Finding Winnie, the true story of the world's most famous bear, we learn that Winnie is actually named after a black bear from London. London Zoo called Winnie. Real name Winnipeg. Reports bustle. Wait, what? Guys, is there anybody else you want to tell me about who I thought was a boy but is actually a girl? I've actually got a confession. I'm a girl! No, no, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm a boy. Actually, I'm not a boy. I'm a man. Don't laugh. You guys can't even lie. Winnie the Pooh was gangster back in the day. Always climbing trees and getting that honey. Mm hmm. Rolling around with Tigger, T-I-double-G-er. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then you're too young for me. All right, moving on. Because the name is derived from ancient Greek, the plural of octopus is octopodes? Huh? 
Guys, can we be serious for a second? The plural form of octopus is octopuses, right? Am I right? Uh, no, no, it's not. What? I thought it was octopuses or octopi. At least octopo, not octopodes. What? Okay, somebody is lying to me. Somebody is making this up. There is no real proof that the plural form of octopus is not octopuses. It's octopuses. It's octopuses. Okay, fine. It's just octopus. Look at all the octopus. It's like with the word moose. It's not moose. Mooses, it's not moose eye, it's not moose, it's not moose oats, okay? It's moose. Oh, look at all the moose. Or the word Chinese, it's not Chineses, it's not Chinodes, come on now. I just wanna know the truth, the cold, hard truth. And why the heck is there a picture of a blue frog when we're talking about octopodes? That makes zero sense. And this frog looks like he's high. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't say he's high. Cause it might be a girl like Winnie the Pooh. This is so confusing, oh my gosh. Guys, please comment down below. Did you know that the plural form of octopus was octopodes? And did you know that there's a such thing as blue frogs? What? I can't anymore. Hey, DJ Khaled, another one, let's go. This truth that there is a but on the Lion King's face. <gasps> oh, my whole life is a lie. Oh, you Disney animators, you is sneaky. You is, ooh, I cannot believe they would do something so heinous. These heinous crimes. There definitely is a theme here today. I mean, first we're talking about Bay means poo, and then we're talking about Winnie the Pooh, and then we're talking about butts and octopodes. Come on now. In the first photo, it just looks like a lion in his face, right? Like with the little lion mane. It's Mufasa, okay? But then here, when you outline it, it looks like a girl's butt. Ah, oh, discrimination, racism. Okay, it's not racism. It's um, <clears throat> uh, uh, sexism. Let me know in the comments down below. I had no ideas. It's like a girl in some undergarments. That's just disgusting, guys. Come on, you guys already know this is the most family friend- or, or this is not the family friendly merch. But the most family friendly channel on all of YouTube. We keeps it clean around here. Gosh dang, all these animals just straight up lying to me. Oh, lying. That's why you're called the Lion King, because you is lying. Oh, exposed. I will never watch The Lion King the same way ever again. Jeez, every time I see a lion, I'm gonna be thinking about some girl in her undergarments. Disgusting, man, it's ridiculous. Okay, let's keep it going. This isn't a two-headed beat. Oh, wait, 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 it looks like the girl, what? Wait, oh, I'm so confused. It looks like this girl has two heads. It's a cyclops. Or wait, that's not a cyclops. It's a, uh, it's a two-headed Siamese girl, what? Gosh dang. Okay, if we break it down, I think this blonde girl on the right side she's kind of leaning over this girl who's like in the dress i think and then like her dress is kind of low so you can't see it so it's a little man, that is a confusing photo geez and whose arm is whose gosh dang i can't even tell it looks like a two-headed girl with three arms dang i've never seen anything like this in my life geez seriously what kind of club is this this is where i'm trying to go where they got two-headed girls and three arm girls and the two girls on the other side they're just chilling like <laughs> We have one head. That ain't nothing to laugh at, man. Jeez. Why would y'all position yourselves this way? Gosh. Y'all could have taken a much less confusing photo and there would not have been this big of a debate. I bet you this is the girl's butt that's on the lion's face. This is her. Ooh. Okay, next one. This evidence that Tiger's butt. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> How many butts must we go through in order to, you know, get through this video? <laughs> Jeez. Every photo has related to a butt in some way. Bay means poop. Winnie the poo. Octa poo. No, octopus, octopus. Butt on the Lion King's face. Two-headed beast, or, or not beast. Two-headed, two butts. Poo, anyway. And then this evidence that Tiger's butt looks like a panda's face. <laughs> What? Okay, it kind of does look like it's a panda's face, but what if it is a panda's face? What if the lion is sitting on a panda? You don't know. Why are y'all looking at tiger's butts in the first place? Jeez. Everybody leave Tony the tiger alone, okay? Because he said they're great. Hey, you crazy tiger that's got a panda's face for a butt. You got any frosted flakes? Oh, frosted flakes sound good. 
happened. It's sad. Mufasa has a butt on his face, and then this tiger has a face on his butt. What is going on up in here? This is utter chaos, man. What is going on? So many butts and so many faces and, and face butts and booties and octopuses, uh, octopodes. Gosh dang. Man, I don't know how much more I can take, but here we go. This revelation that cat milk does not come from mommy cats. Where does it come from then? Why would you call it cat milk if it doesn't come from cats? What next? Goat milk doesn't come from goats? Tiger milk comes from lions? Okay, in all seriousness, I'm pretty sure they mean this is milk for cats. It's probably been specially curated to fit the cat's needs and, you know, nutritional values and all that fancy jargon. It's milk from your cat, but it doesn't come from mommy cats. I wonder what cat milk tastes like, man. It probably doesn't taste good. I definitely will not be having it with my Tony the Tiger Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes with cat milk. Maybe I should try it. Psych! Not doing it, man. I'll stick to the good old fashioned lactose cow milk. Thank you very much. Moving on. Fruit Loops all taste the exact same? Please drop a like on the video and, you know, give me credit. There has been an amazing theme today of butts and cereal. That sounds weird. Cereal and butts. Butts and cereal. I didn't even think about that. There's so many colors to Fruit Loops. You know, you got the blue, the purple, the green, the orange, the red, but they all taste the same. You would think the red might taste like strawberry or like a cherry, and then like the yellow, a little lemony, and the orange like an orange, but they just all taste the exact fruity same, dang. And what the heck are you gonna tell me next? That Frosted Flakes all taste the same? Okay, they all taste the same. Hey, Tony the Tiger and Kellogg's, y'all better step your cereal game up, oh crrr. All Fruit Loops and Frosted Flakes taste the same, girl, you better. That That's just ridiculous, man. I feel lied to, man. Do you guys feel lied to? This is stuff that I just never thought about. DJ Khaled, another one. Let's be honest, there was room for two. Oh, in the Titanic, that's so true. You see how big that door is? You're telling me he could not have fit on there? Come on, Jack. Rose is being selfish. That's ridiculous. She just let him drown? Girl, that's homicide. What are you doing? Punishable by 25 to life in jail. Hey, hashtag you go going to jail. And look at her lying down. She's hogging the whole door. Sharing is caring. All right, moving on to the last one. Penguins do have knees inside their bodies? Wow. I had no idea that penguins had knees. <laughs> so you're telling me that penguins can bend the knee if they need to? They can squat down? You're telling me that penguins can do this pose right here? These penguins need to stop lying to me. Oh, grrr. ain't nothing but ridiculousness up in here, man. Penguins have knees inside their body, girl. You better get that out of here. Woo, man, that's it, that's it. Photos that prove your life is a lie, part three. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Comment down below which of the photos was your favorite. And comment down below your Instagram. We got the giveaway on firework going on, so be sure to check out the description and look at the steps on how to enter. And you can win a free iPhone X, woo! Just make sure to click that link, download firework, add me at Dang Matt Smith, and check out the new series where I'm digitally added into classic movies and commercials. And and be sure to click that subscribe button, drop a like on the video, and add me on Instagram at DangMattSmith. And turn on those YouTube notifications because, you know, you, you could join the squad. But, hope you guys have a good day, and just remember, the word bay means poop. And on that note, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.